Hello, my name is Holger Schönemann and welcome to the introduction to WHO guidelines in GRADE. This is module six, guideline adaptation using GRADE development, practical approaches. As I mentioned, this is module six out of six modules. It is narrated based on slides, contains separate quizzes. You can go at your own pace by stopping the recording and restarting it at any time. Before I begin, here are my disclosures. I do not have any direct financial conflicts. This work has been funded by the World Health Organization, but the views expressed are my own. Module 6A focuses on guideline adaptation using grade development and the source guideline or the practical example is the European Breast Guideline. The topics that are covered are using the grade development framework to adopt guidelines or adapt guidelines, using that European Breast Guideline that has been developed through the European Commission Initiative on Breast Cancer. I will focus on practical issues in this brief presentation, and I will present one example from a country in fact, Tunisia. These press guidelines have been published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. The information about the development can be found in the Journal of Clinical Epidemiology, including an explanation of what it is, and the detailed methods for the guidelines are also available in an article published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. The source guidelines can be found on the European Commission or EU Science Hub under ECIBC. They contain approximately 70 recommendations related to breast cancer screening and diagnosis. To recap, methods to increase efficiency in guideline development include adopting, adapting, or de novo creation of recommendations to create a guideline. The combination of these choices leads to a development. Planning for a development includes identifying local groups such as professional societies or professional groups and clarifying their roles, appropriate budgeting, prioritization of guideline topics, prioritization of guideline questions, updating or using existing systematic reviews and identifying local data that might lead to changes in the recommendations for instance, around incidents or values or cost. Preparing or using existing guidelines means that existing grade tables should be available. They may have to be modified depending on if new evidence is identified or in, for instance, if baseline risks changes for the target population in a country, for instance, Training the guideline panelists is really important, for instance, through the in-guide program that provides certification of guideline panel members. Then formulating and rating the strength of recommendations, as well as implementing it with the local groups and the original guideline as it is modified should be implemented together with those who actually develop it in the contextual setting, for instance, the professional group. The overall process for development was described elsewhere and is shown here in this diagram as an overview. I will refer to this diagram by describing the particular breast cancer example. This begins with identifying breast cancer screening and diagnosis as a topic. Then looking at what questions are particularly relevant for a specific, specific setting. Let's take Ukraine as the country where the guidelines should be adopted. So for instance, the local guideline panel might ask or prioritize one of the questions as follows. Should breast cancer screening be used in women 45 to 49 years of age? And similar questions would probably be also prioritized. And for instance, in the European Breast Guidelines, these, that recommendation is addressed. And the European Breast Guideline is eva evaluated as credible and may be chosen for adaptation. 
the relevant recommendation for breast cancer screening in the age group would be looked for. And a relevant recommendation does indeed exist. If not, a new recommendation would have to be developed, which would require a search for existing evidence synthesis or the conduct of it. The systematic reviews in the breast guidelines are well done and they are up to date. However, the baseline risk is somewhat lower based on local data, hypothetically, and the information about values may be incomplete and local evidence may be available. In addition, a complete evidence to decision framework is available in the European Breast Guidelines for each question and each recommendation. In this hypothetical scenario, the adulting guideline group makes changes to the judgments that the original guideline development group made in the source guideline. That leads to the fact that the recommendation differs in the direction. A conditional recommendation for becomes a conditional recommendation against, and that would mean an adapted recommendation. So what does that mean? Using the evidence to decision frameworks, for instance, in Grade Pro, requires an evaluation of the existing evidence, an evaluation if there's new evidence or the interpretation of that evidence differs, and then a review of the judgments that were made by the source guideline panel to see if one agrees or changes any of these judgments. So for instance, using that tool and the development module, one would start with reviewing, for instance, if the problem is a priority, which typically includes information around incidence of the disease, in this particular case, incidence of breast cancer, and the adulting guideline panel would use this editable part to see if they agree with the original judgment that indicated that it was a priority and would possibly here um, still say that it is a priority, which would be logical because the question has actually been chosen for adulting. The adulting guideline panel would do this for each and every single criterion on the ETD. So for instance, for the values criterion, the judgment may differ, despite the fact that there's an existing systematic review, local data may suggest that there is less variability if narrowed to a specific country and that there's more certainty around the relative importance that women place on the various outcomes. So a judgment from important possibly important uncertainty or variability might be changed to probably no important uncertainty or variability. The adulting guideline panel would do that for each judgment on the source guideline. And here could be a hypothetical result that for instance, the judgment about the desirable effects is changed from moderate to small because of lower breast cancer incidence that would lead to less detected cases while there may be even more false positives. The certainty may be lower to low because the evidence is less direct or considered less direct. I mentioned the value judgment where additional data might suggest that there's less uncertainty. And then the judgment about the benefits and harm, the balance of the health effects may be in favor of the comparison or not screening in this particular age group. Again, this is hypothetical. That could lead to changes in the cost effectiveness judgment, while on the regional level, cost effectiveness often varies once it is narrowed down to a specific setting, for instance, a country. This may change. And in this particular case, the hypothetical guideline panel would have judged this to probably favors not screening. In terms of equity, given that one has focused on a specific country and found some data, there's probably no impact. Again, this would change a conditional recommendation for the intervention to a conditional recommendation again, the intervention expressed here in the narrative where the guideline development group, the new, the adulting guideline development group makes a conditional recommendation based on somewhat lower trust in the data or lower certainty of the evidence. This would be described transparently and I refer you to other modules 
for the interpretation of what a conditional recommendation actually means. What is important is that a justification for changes to the source recommendation are provided. How to do that can be found in this particular article that actually used the European Best Guidelines for an development exercise, which also describes the process and may be a good example for further reading. So in summary, guideline development increases efficiency while involving relevant stakeholders, including those who implement. Great development is an efficient way to do that. That implementation and the adopting and the adaptation, which I explained here and on pre in previous modules, the European Breast Guidelines serve as a good example because they contain evidence to decision frameworks for all recommendations and can be obtained from the European Commission Joint Research Center. Next, I will talk about the quizzes. You can go at your own pace. Try to answer the question before I continue to the next slide. Question one, if all judgments and the recommendation in an adult guideline are identical to the source guideline, that is called adaptation, adoption, or de novo development. This is actually adoption. It means that the recommendation is not changed for the local context and all judgments are identical. Question two, the reason for the change in the recommendation in the example presented here were differences in values, differences in judgments about the benefits, differences in judgments about the balance of benefits and harms, or differences in cost effectiveness in the adult guideline, or all of the above. Actually, all of the above. The judgments in this hypothetical example differed on all of these criteria, and it led to a different direction of the recommendation. Thank you so much. You can find us here, and we'll see you again.